What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shabazz, and welcome to the channel. Now, for those who know me, my favorite thing in the world is cereal, right? I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It really doesn't matter to me. I remember being in college upstate for four years. When we were the food was trash, I was eating like two bowls of cereal. So, today, I'll be going over the top 10 cereals according to me. Now, this is a big disclaimer. This is my opinion, all right? If you have problems with it, speak your mind in the comment section below. And if I missed any of your favorites, put them in there as well. I would love to see them. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So, coming in at number 10, it's Captain Crunch. I already know, like, what the hell is Captain Crunch so low for? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's the fact that you can have multiple bowls at one sitting. You know, after the first one is good, you know, you eat or whatever. But after the second one, you start to get that weird feeling in your teeth. And that's just unattractive. That's just not a good look to me. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Number nine, we have Honey Nut Cheerios. All right, now to me, Honey Nut Cheerios is a classic cereal. No matter what age you are, you can just enjoy a nice bowl of it and get your cholesterol right real quick, you know? It's healthy and it's nice. Coming in at number eight, we have Cocoa Puffs. Now, the fact that it's this even in the list is because of the chocolate. I love chocolate cereals. Like, you, you'll see with the number one on this list that I love chocolate cereals. It's the fact that you can devour the bowl real quick, you know, be a savage or whatever, and then drink some chocolate milk after that. This was my go-to in college. So me and this cereal got a little bit of a relationship. Number seven, we have honey, bunches of oats, but not any, like not, not just the regular version, not the almond version, but the honey roasted version. You feel me? That shit was lit. It's great tasting and it's very sweet, but not too sweet when it's a turn off, but sweet enough where, you know, you're satisfied. You know, it's good and it's practical, but it just isn't the best to me. Coming in on number six, it's honeycomb. I remember eating it as a kid, having two, sometimes three bowls in one sitting. Well, granny, as well as because of the cones being so huge, they filled up the bowl very fast. So to me, it was nice, it was calm, and it was just very sweet. It was a vibe. Coming in at number five is Cookie Crisp. All right, I, I know what y'all thinking, like, what the hell? Why is Cookie Crisp here? Well, it's a chocolate chip cookie in cereal form. Like, what else do I have to say? I really don't feel like I have anything else to say about it. I mean, it was a vibe back then, and it's still a vibe now. You bought a box and you eat it, you'll be good. You'll be good. Number four. It's Fruity Pebbles. Now, I know what y'all thinking. It gets soggy too fast. You gotta eat it in like two minutes or whatever. It's cool. Like, it's one of those rare cereals where soggy and not soggy, you'll be all right. You will be okay. Cracking in the top three starts with people's number one choice. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I felt, I, I could feel y'all negative like looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? But, Nothing's bad about it. Cinnamon Toast is a top tier cereal. Listen, it's top tier. Everything's great about it. Nothing bad about it. But there's just two that's better than it. So sue me. Sue me. Coming in at number two, Frosted Flakes. All right. Now, Frosted Flakes, it's just, it's a classic. It's the classic go-to. When you look at the definition of a go-to cereal, you'll see Frosted Flakes in that definition. Now, for me, I'm pretty sure, and with your crib right now, if you're watching this video, you're gonna see a box of Frosted Flakes. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I'll bet money that I'm gonna see a box of Frosted Flakes. Whether it's in the trash, or you got the family size Jones that lasts a week, I'm gonna see a box. I bet you money. I bet, I'm not joking now. I'm broke. I mean, no money, no money. But before I get to number one, I got a few hundred women. All right, number one. S'more cereal. S'mores is pretty good, but not quite good enough for the top 10. You know, number number two, Reese's Puffs. You know, the song was fired with the R double E E S E S. Woo! Peanut butter, chocolate, great when separate, but when they come by, they make the morning time epic. Morning time epic. Morning time epic. R double E S E S. It's the perfect. If you, ooh, that was, that was a header right then in the day. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But again, it was good. It was nice and tasty, but it's not great like, good enough for the top 10. Number three, Waffle Chris. What y'all know? About, first of all, what y'all know about Waffle Chris? Like, for me, if you watch this video, for me, like, yo, what you know about Waffle Chris, man? Because when it was out, 
Jordan was popping. You feel me? I sound mad old, but feel me, yo. I'm an old soul, so feel me. When I say Waffle Chris was back in the day, old. Come on, you gotta know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. You, know, you feel me? Now, number four is tricks. All right? With tricks, it's an odd case because not, no one really talks about tricks in their top five, let alone top ten cereals. It's extremely underrated. But not just any tricks, the OG ones though. Not, not the spheres, you feel me? The o, the OG tricks with the little shapes or whatever. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Not the spheres, them just trash. Coming in at the true number one, the top of the top, the cream of the crop, Oreos. This cereal have a huge history, right? I was killing it as a kid, you know? Buying boxes, eating the boxes. But uh, unfortunately, it got discontinued. I don't know when it did, it just did. It was one stop, one year, they stopped selling them. They only sold it in Korea. I'm like, Korea? Really? So, my older brother, you know, I was in high school, I was broke, I ain't had no job. My older brother did, he bought a box and came in with the Korean letters and all that. So, I didn't have a box coming because the box was mad small. But for me, I was just happy to see that it was still like, at least being sold places. But for me, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. 2017, when I was a sophomore in college, it came back and I was hype. I was really happy to see it back in in stores at Walmart. And I had a Walmart like five minutes from my school. So you feel me? You know, I was taking that Uber over there, getting my boxes, and I was lit. I was happy and it was life was good again. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the list. And I know you guys are gonna flame me in the comments saying like, guys, Captain Cunt so low. Why is Cinnamon Toast Crust 911? Why is Fruity Pebbles even on the list? You feel me? Again, it's my list. So if you got beef, let me know in the comments. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one.